We're starting up a game of City State 2. We are going to be Governor of the Sadlands. We've already found it where our capital is going to be. It's going to be on this little island here. It's called Scum City. And we are going to treat the people there as such. First thing we have to do is design a flag. Whatever the flag is, it has to be scary, so we have to go for a pretty scary colour scheme. This is a good start. No. No, not quite. Maybe. Maybe we're getting there. I like this. This is the, uh, this is the flag of the Sadlands. So we'll go for this. Let's head on down to Scum City. Head on down to Scum City. Head on down to Scum. It's the theme tune for the tourist board. We're going to give ourselves 50 thou. Give ourselves 140 thou overall to found the city. Let's get let's get the scum housed. Let's get the scum into housing and then then we can start to crush them, crush their spirits. Once they're looked after, then we can start to control and manipulate them as any good government should. So one of the first things I'm going to do is lay down a bridge. Go like here, that looks better. Like that. And then we are going to create an even road system. Yes, we are. Okay. So this is what I'm thinking for my general layout. But as you can see down here, we've got a, a need for low income housing. So let's build the place up, shall we? Let's go maybe medium density. Let's get as many people in as we can. This main island here is going to be my main residential district, I know that much. This is where the vast majority of people are going to live. It's like Manhattan or something. It's like Manhattan, except for it's called Scum City. That comparison is no reflection of people who live in Manhattan, of course. I'm thinking maybe the government building is going to go up here, but then, this, of course, this does mean I need to find a place for industry. I'm going to need to find a place to put all my big factories and things like that. A little, a little small factory zone in this corner. Hang on, let's put one more in. There we go. Okay, so we've got our houses. We're going to be building here. I think what would be nice is if we had some commercial district as well, just like... Just as you come into the main sort of... Ah, what am I doing? Because people, they've just arrived in the city. They want to have some fun. They want to chill out. They want to find a place to sit down, have some drinks. Have some fun. So we're going to put this there. This there. And we're going to add some... Let's add medium density in the middle here. Like this. Put high density on the outside. Like this. I'm quite liking this shape so far. All right, let's play for a while. Let's see the city come to life. Whoa, power consumption exceeds production. Affected businesses and citizens might leave the country. More generators must be turned on or a new power plant built. Right. Transport, public services, power and water facilities. Water tower. Okay, we're going to need a water tower. Ah, yeah, okay, I see. I need it. I need everything. I need to actually give my people stuff. Just giving them literally bare shelter apparently is not enough for them. They're so entitled to things. I'm going to put one water tower there. I'm going to put the generator there. There we go, guys. We're feeling pretty good now, I think. Let's chuck some industry. I mean, do we want to put industry right next to the river? Does it matter? Do we give a shit? Maybe we should make industry up here and make this like the little government section. No. No, I refuse. I don't care. I don't care about pollution. That's for the guy after me in office. That's not for me. So we've got two medium densities. Let's get one high density up here as well. Cool. So now we should have everything building in Scum City. Scum City is on the rise. Shall we check out our budget? Okay, so we can see we've got tax rates to set. We have an exchange rate. We can buy money and print money. Yeah, we'll print a bunch of money. Whoa, our cash flow is not very good. We've got more expenses than income. I suppose we need to let the city sort of grow, build a bit until we make some money, make that sweet dollar dollar. 
make that sweet money, 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 money. We all like money. Right, let's hike the tax up straight away. Fifteen percent. Thank you very much. Retail. Give us, give us seven percent. Seven. Mm. Property tax. Let's go to three percent. Okay, that that's helping us a bit, I think. You know, if we start to lose money too drastically, I'm immediately just going to pull, pull things out, like strip the land of everything that people need. I haven't even built schools or hospitals yet, and I'm losing money. How is this possible? I haven't. I've literally made no policy decisions. I okay. I'm pretty happy with this shape still. I think things are looking pretty good. We're just waiting for things to build. Things are taking a little while. Oh, we. Oh my God, we need to move way more people in. All right, let's go high density. And maybe let's just go high density all along here if we can. All right, high density on the outside. Let's just ship the people in, move them in. It doesn't matter what their living conditions are like. Just get them here. We have an entire nation to build. We have an entire nation to build, and people are being lazy. My people are going to get absolutely no benefits whatsoever if they don't put some work in right now. Get the buildings built. Ah, the government building. Okay, so I can build a government building. The government headquarters enables the first policies to be enacted. With enough population, this building will automatically extend, and so will the number of available policies. Government buildings cannot be destroyed. Their location must be chosen with forethought. Ah. Ah, oh, and I need teachers. Hmm. Okay, ladies and gents, we're gonna put it right here. This is our government building. I think that's a really nice build-up to the government building, though. It's a nice, um, sort of what would you call it, a promenade? I'm not sure you'd call it a promenade. That doesn't sound right. We still need more housing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These people cannot get enough of shelter. They are obsessed. You know, ask these people what they love, like what their hobbies are, and they're going to be like, oh, I love shelter. I can talk about shelter all day long. So we're sticking some medium ones there. Um, you know, I'm tempted to just go medium the whole way, but let's stick some more high-density ones down. We need people here. Should I be, like, worried about building parks and stuff, like leaving space for parks? Because right now, I'm not worried about that. I'm not even thinking about it. Crowded schools, yeah, shit. Um, what are you saying? I need to buy a, buy a school, high school. Four thousand five hundred dollars monthly cost four hundred dollars. And an elementary. There's two schools I gotta buy. Ugh. God, my people are so selfish. It's unbelievable. So high school. Where the where can the high school go? I feel like making people cross the cross the yeah bridge to go to high school. If they want to go to high school, they got to cross the bridge. That's fair. Let's build it there. And the elementary school, I guess we're going to stick it here on the same street, perhaps? Did I want... I wonder if I put that too far away. Nah, I didn't put that too far away. Let's put the elementary school next door. Okay, and now we're still losing money. Hmm. But that should get better, hopefully, over time. If not, well, what can we be expected to do? Let's check out our legislation here. We have healthcare insurance, unemployment. My unemployment's only 9% at the minute, so I'm gonna I'm tempted to just leave that as it is. Okay, to do other things, I need a Department of Commerce, and I need a Department of Social Affairs. That's to manage civil rights, moral values, and social reforms. So right now I can only really affect pensions, entrepreneurship, unemployment, healthcare insurance. I'm not going to do any of those. Because they all sound like they want to be helpful for society. And I'm really all about helping me. I'm the governor of this place. I'm a reptile. Human life has absolutely no value to me at all. I'm in this purely for wealth and power. Should I be doing something right now? What's happening? Is everybody happy? How can I... how do I tell? Oh, my approval rating, 49%. I seem to be a little bit more popular with the right wing than the left wing. That's not a surprise. I'm only losing a little bit of money right now, so I'm thinking maybe if we just continue to build more housing, we're going to bring more people in, we're going to get more property tax. 
and that's what it's all about. I'm wondering if I should maybe build a little bit over this side, so maybe in these places here. One, one, one. Because, I mean, I don't mind having, like, a few suburbs kind of close by to the government building. I ain't concerned about that at all. We don't have any power. I'm going to leave a little gap here in case I need to put parks or something in. In fact, maybe let's try to do that now. Let's just put in flowers. No, they're not big enough. Well, that's too big. That's too small. That's too small. That's too big. Oh, basketball court. Nice. Okay, let's get this diesel sorted. We have diesel issues right now. Diesel. Let's use both generators. Okay, that's good. So now we're back down to 52% power usage. That's fine. Everybody just needs to learn to turn the lights off. Turn the lights off and we're not going to have these problems. Maybe I'll build a few more little homes down here. Maybe some medium density homes. Two there. Okay, this is looking okay. I'm not displeased with this so far. Do we need more industry? Let's not skimp on the industry. We'll take it out a little way away from the river so that we're not being overly pollution. Polluting. Pollutioning. Nice, nice, nice. Immigration office, okay. An immigration office enables the country to attract more foreign citizens along with... Along... Why can't I read? I can't read! An immigration office enables the country to attract more foreign citizens. Along with generous border policies, the population growth could be widely accelerated. Population growth? Do I need that right now? I guess so. Alright, well, any important buildings, let's put these up near near the um, government building. So, Department of Immigration we have. Oh, we have a heli, a heli pad as well. Okay, let's put the immigration office, like... Here. Helipad? I know, I need this though. So where are we going to put the helipad? Hmm. I'm going to put the helipad right there. Cool. Can I do something with the helipad? I feel like that unlocked something which I could use for fun. That I could have fun with. Maybe I'll work that out later. We're making a bit of money though. We're still not... We're not like crazy rich, but we're making a bit of cash. Making that sweet dollar, 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 dollar bill, y'all. Cream. Get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I grew up on the south side. The New York Times side. Staying alive was no jive in second hand. Got bounced on old man. In the root of the Charlotte land. Those aren't the words. I can't remember what the words are. All I remember is cream. Get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. And that's pretty much the philosophy that we're taking forward into Scum City right now. It's all about that money! And we're making money. We got 115,000. I've never seen that money in my life. In my real life. Let's just bring in the peeps. Let's go for some more high density as well. Whoa, that made six. That's pretty cool. And that made four. I don't quite get it. Hey ho spaghetti-o. Just gonna build some pedestrian alleys up here to make it look pretty. I'm really into making sure that the government building looks pretty. I really don't care much about anything else. It's all about making sure that this government area looks absolutely stunning. Now stick in this plaza. Nice. I'm really liking my government area. It just looks cool. It's like really hidden away from the people, you know? Like the people gotta come all the way up this road if they dare dare try to dissent. If they dare try to protest, I, I'm i really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to a protest so I can show my people what I'm made of, that I'm not one to be trifled with. The people of uh, the Sadlands, of Scum City, they need a tough leader. They need somebody who's not afraid to go outside of UN conventions to make his point heard. I'm going to build myself a church up here because... As a leader, as a, as a leader, I'm incredibly religious, incredibly theological, and I like to use theology to come down on on others. Let's have a check at the stats here. Unemployment, 16%. That's not very good. 16% down here. 
not happy with 16%. Nobody is very happy with me. The left wing is less happy with me than the right wing is. And you know, that just makes me want to come down hard on the left wing. You can't be happy. You can't be satisfied. I'm going to show you my army. I'm going to show you what my soldiers can do. And uh, they're not afraid to get dirty, let me tell you that. Whoa, we need advanced manufacturing badly. How the hell do we get advanced manufacturing? What is advanced manufacturing? Oh god, here we go. I knew there'd be a problem eventually. Advanced manufacturing? Commercial zones? Isn't... Help me! Someone help me! Birth rate, land value, religiousness. <laughs> My church is no good to anybody. Good. I didn't build it for you. How the living hell am I supposed to build advanced manufacturing? What even is advanced manufacturing? Should I know that? I should have done the tutorial. This is what happens when you skip out on the tutorial. Okay, it seems like I need to build way more industry and try to get some advanced manufacturing going. So let's build out here. And let's stick in some high density. Is that going to do anything for us? Let's make sure we build this up. Basic manufacturing, why? Basic manufacturing, basic manufacturing, basic manufacturing, basic manufacturing. Um, there's insufficient demand for these, so do I need to build... Like... What did I build? I thought I built high density, but maybe I built low density or something. Oh my god, look at the, look at my need for advanced manufacturing. It's spiraling out of control. I feel like I gotta be doing something here, maybe, and I'm just not doing it. I wonder if this has something to do with how good the land is, like what the land value is. So the land value down here is like $24 squared. That's not great. Then up here it's a bit more expensive. Is this the? Is this right? This doesn't feel right. I, oh wait, this land value is really good. Maybe that's all I need. Why won't you just build up my industry like I'm asking you to? Do as I- oh wait, we need water. Oh my god. Build a water tower there. Nice. We need more industry, guys. This is getting ridiculous. Like, am I supposed to be raising the value of this or something? I don't know. I'm gonna stick some high densities here. Will you people just literally make this stuff work? Do I need more housing? It's always housing is the problem. No, I don't need more housing. I need... Oh my god, I need... Advanced manufacturing, somebody help me, please. A couple more homes there. Medium state-owned factory. Small state-owned factory. Is this what I need? Is it all about having a factory? Let's build two factories here and see what happens. And let's expand our... Our actual country, our city. Expand the city borders by just a bit, but enough so that people can enjoy where I've chosen for them to live. We'll do some light, light density now. There we go. Okay, now can we speed up and see what happens? Okay, we have some factories coming up. Nice. And I think advanced manufacturing went down, maybe. Did it? Power outages again. Man, alive! Okay, let's build ourselves. We need an actual coal plant or something. Something that's coal or nuclear. Hmm. Let's go coal, because I do not have the money for nuclear. Obviously, we could go solar panels, but we're not going to do that. That's just not us. Coal plant up here. Let's just build around you. We need some more commercial buildings as well, so let's think about that. Let's put in some... Let's put in high-density commercial buildings along here. 
and here. Right in front of our government building. Here I'm going to stick that and that. Very pretty, looking good. Build ourselves some little cycle paths or something around. Let's do that on both sides. Looking good. Looking really good. We still need a lot of factories, though, which we're not dealing with, so... Let's go and let's build, a, like, small state, medium state, public market? Nah. Let's build, like, four factories in here. One, two, three, four. Is this gonna help us? Please let this help us. We need help here. Like, I feel like that went down, but I just... Yeah, it did. It went down. We need factories. Let's go small state-owned factories, then. Let's do four here. The city's development is started by insufficient water production. More water production! Man, these people. They don't ask for much, do they? I'm gonna put another one right next to it. There we go. Okay, it's coming on, but this, clearly this industry thing over here isn't really working, so let's demolish some of these. Demolish, demolish, and let's make some more factories. Yay! Nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Look at all the car parks we have in this city. We've got tons of car parks down here. And then all this parking space in front of the government building. Kind of like that. It makes it feel special. I didn't realize we have such a need for middle income housing, so... Uh, middle income housing, what's that? I guess that's like... Where people want to be. So this is all low income housing around here. So once again, we're faced with pretty significant problems. I don't know how to get better housing. Even though this area up here looks to be like it's got a lot better land value, so... I mean, the land value down here is rubbish. I'm gonna build like a bit out. Um, and let's build maybe a park or something to see if this gets better. Basketball court, is that gonna help? So let's put that one, that one, and maybe just like a little walking thing in between, maybe. These are still low income housing. Low income housing, low income housing, low income housing, low income housing. Why? What's going on? I desperately need better housing. Am I in trouble? Should I be doing some legislation or something? My approval rating is 86%. People are over the moon with me. Man, people love me. It's because everybody's employed. Everybody is so employed right now. But that still isn't helping with the important matter of getting better housing. Well, you know what? Let's go for some public housing units, because we also need... Oh, no, wait, but we don't need public housing if everybody's employed. We just need housing. What's wrong with this area? Why Why won't you become normal? You got something so against being middle-income housing? You got something against the middle classes? Is that what you're saying? You're anti-middle class. Okay, now let's build a couple more parks in there. We are low-income housing! Yay! But the land value is, like, amazing. It's like $156 per square meter. They only want four. These people get to live near El Presidente. They should be over the moon with gratitude right now. Oh, hey, look, I can build an airport. Shit. Should I build an airport? Maybe. Maybe it's a bit early for an airport. We only have 3,000 people who live here. I don't know what we're doing wrong with the housing. Low income. Stage 3 out of 4. I mean, look at how good the land value is here. Am I 
taxing people incorrectly? I'm taxing... Alright, I'm gonna give the lower classes a tax break. Tax the hell out of the middle classes. We seem to be making money from middle class, so there seems like there's property tax. Let's lower property tax, maybe. We are on the budgetary line right now, let me tell you that. I just don't know how to get nicer housing for you guys, I'm sorry, I just don't know how to do it. You want things I can't provide you. I mean, do you guys want a basketball court? Will that make things better? Will you guys stop complaining that you have no sort of middle class housing if I give you a basketball court? Look, there you go guys, right on the beach. The people of Scum City should be absolutely overjoyed with that decision. And if they're not, well, frankly, they can't be helped, can they? Look at all this. We really need commercial zones as well. Here and here. Let's just stick you to 30. Stick you to 30 in the high school, elementary school. A bit less, but still. Cash. Oh, man, we've got, like, no cash. $27,000. We're running out of cash. Why? What happened to the dream? Crowded schools. Oh, man. You need another school. Okay, 156 students, so that's good. You should probably put a police station in as well, right? I mean, but now we're hemorrhaging money again. Well, we're not hemorrhaging it, but we're not, we're not making money. We're not made of money, are we? Let's put the police station here. I think we can call it there for now, but we've made a pretty decent start on our little, uh, on our little city. Scum city. We'll come back to this and we will build it up and continue if we can get our budget under control. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to do that thing that you know you secretly want to do, but you're afraid to do. But don't be afraid. Just go for it, be brave, be courageous, and do it! Alright guys, thanks. Until next time, yeah.